A shot list? <laughs> no, it's not a list of different types of shots that you can take with your buddies at a cookout. Let's, uh, let's take a look. Hey creators, Julian here. Today we're unpacking some key essentials to successfully using a shot list for your videos. We're even gonna provide a free downloadable template for you to leverage. You can snag that now by hitting the link in the description below. Look, people think of filmmakers as scatterbrained visionaries or narrow-minded auteurs. Oh, as if! Either too creative to focus on an idea for more than five minutes or too obsessed with an idea to see a broader picture. Now, that might work for teams that have a large budget, but independent filmmakers can't afford to waste time or money. And my guess is you're just as comfortable visualizing a shoot as you are editing it. And that's why a shot list template is perfect for your production needs. Now, if you're unfamiliar with shot lists, it's pretty much what the name implies. This tool is a detailed chart that breaks down the specifics of what goes into filming each location, scene, and shot. And it can also serve as a schedule with dedicated time slots to make the most of natural light. As a quick reminder, everything that we're going to cover comes from our downloadable, free shot list template. So let's take a look. Number three, plan the perfect shot. Is there a perfect shot? Well, it depends on who you ask. Cough, Roger Deakins, cough. <clears throat> but when you think about your next project and how you're gonna plan for each day of filming, it helps to visualize the shot that you want. This way, you can break down the components of that shot and try to capture it perfectly. Things like distance, subject, and angle all play a vital part in how you tell your story. They influence every other part of the shoot, like movement and lighting. You'll also want to include basic things like the key, shot number, and the time of day and location. See, these details help with organization as well as determining what else you need to get the shot that you want. Number two, bring the proper gear. Yes, I'm combining the equipment and lens columns because you would normally consider both topics at the same time, and one technically falls into the other category, even if you should list both separately on your shot list. The gear you have on set will obviously determine what kind of movement you can do, how you handle lighting, and what kind of sound you're gonna capture. Similarly, your lens choice caters to the distance and angle that you want and you can be as specific as you need to be. And you most certainly want to specify a focal length. The different lenses can create a completely different feel with the very same subject. But if you want to give yourself a little bit of flexibility on set, feel free to list a lens range and grab a couple. The same goes for your gear choices. Look, the whole point of this template is to help you simplify things on set. If locking yourself into something feels like a pain, just don't do it. Now, I just wanna underscore one quick thing here about your shot list. The reason we're encouraging you to be so specific and intentional with your lens choices, your gear choices, et cetera, is because you need to put this thought in before set. So that way when you're on set, you can really focus on making creative decisions. People think that you think to write, but with a shot list, you write so that later you can think and remember. All right, guys, before we give you number one, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notifications button so you get our content fast. And number one, give the right direction. Production notes are different from the coverage column, which works almost like a written storyboard for the shot. Instead, think of this slot as the place to put any direction or ideas in your head that don't fit anywhere else on the chart. It can literally be like a note to self portion so that you can make sure that what you film matches your original vision for each individual shot. You might specify visual effects, lighting ideas, or sound effects. And maybe it becomes a spot to give some talent direction or specify a mood you wanna create with the shot. It could even be a place where you leave specific notes for someone else helping you on set, like an assistant director. There are simply too many notes, that's all. Just cut a few and it'll be perfect. There are a ton of reasons why using this simple tool can be hyper effective. How do you foresee shot lists helping you in the future? Tell us in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next episode of Intune shortly. Until then, keep creating.